Okay, we are at the fourth stop on our mystery tour for uh, finding out what happened to Annie Laurie um, here at the Rotary Park in Rome. So let's take a look and see if we can find this. chickens that you're talking about chicken dinner all right once again we've got more coordinates yay Ooh. all right this one says john smith a river pilot employed on the steamboat dixie gave annie laurie a box that played a beautiful yet haunting melody unfortunately two thieves appropriated the box from annie laurie as she sat on a nearby park bench you mean like that one Huh. The box had passed through various owners before finding a home at a pawn shop on Broad Street. Though the pawn shop has long since closed, the box turned up during renovations of the building by the current occupants. Continue to these coordinates to learn more about the mystery of Annie Laurie. We'll see you there. All right, everybody, we are on the fifth of our mystery caches, the mystery crew, Crazy Dave's mystery crew. We are on the mission to get the fifth set of coordinates. Let's go! Well, this sticks out like a sore thumb, or maybe I should say jailbird. All right, let's get this and see what it says. I have a feeling it's going to send us somewhere else. What do you think? Oh, okay. After bull and bear's trials and, the, and convictions at this courthouse, they spent several weeks in a jail cell in the basement. Oh, right here at the courthouse. Uh, in, the, in Rome, in the late 1800s, executions were carried out by public hanging. The condemned prisoner was loaded into a police wagon and taken to Hanging Hill, which was at the corner of 5th Avenue and 1st Street. There, a crowd of, crowd of townspeople would be waiting at the gallows to witness the execution. Proceed to some coordinates that are on here um, to see the sight of Bull and Bear's final moments in this world. Let's go! So I open it up and it says, what do you seek? The truth. Maybe we'll have all of our questions answered right here, right now. Let's see. What did it say? The truth. That's the hard truth. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's another stand. Though convicted at the courthouse and, it, and executed on this spot, Bull and Bear Mudge were not guilty of murder. However, their lives of petty crimes offering no chance that their pleas of innocent would be heard. Bum -ba -dum. So we still do not know the truth, but that's what we seek. Yeah. So which card does this go on? It's not the book. Probably bull and bear. You think? Snake oil. Mudge Brothers. I bet it goes on the Mudge Brothers. What do you think? You think? What do you say? Oh yeah. Because, yeah. What to be the Mudge Brothers here. Especially since it's, it's like the two twins or whatever. The petty crimes. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty, but still dead. Okay, let's enter in the next set of coordinates. 